So I just wanted to do a little shout out um, about this website that I used. Uh, I'll put the link right in the description below. Um, it's a website that replaces the lenses for your glasses. Um, as you know, in previous videos, and if you haven't, I'll put the, uh, the link in the description as well. I usually go antiquing. <clears throat> And uh, in one of my little adventures, I found uh, this really, really nice pair of, uh, it, it was a frame. And uh, it came together with a bunch of little other uh, pins in there. I don't know if you know them. They're like, um, I'll show you. I have them over here. I usually keep them somewhere in here with all my little other antiques. Um, yeah. They're... Um, little glasses right here see and the way these ones work is you pinch them your it pinches your nose like right here like so and that's how they stay they really just pinch like that and they don't they don't move I can move around and go like that the way you take them out is this way anyway but I digress so I got these ones and um, <clears throat> I got this really, really nice uh, frame. And um, I do use glasses, but it's mainly just to see distance. Um, and mainly, like, when I'm reading too much and I can't really focus my eyes at too much um, on the distance, if you're, you know, if it's ever happened to you, you're on your book, all of a sudden uh, you look up and then, you know, it's not as sharp as it should be. We have a little bit of astigmatism, so <clears throat> I do need, uh, I guess corrective glasses but I could do well without it anyway so I uh, found this pair of this this frame and it was just in deplorable condition I mean the thing looked beat up and what I mean beat up it looked black it looked it was nasty but I knew right away what it was so <clears throat> the guy made me a deal I bought like this one with the case that frame and something else anyway and um i usually use these glasses by the way side note which is uh this is uh discontinued now they don't make them anymore this is by if you're interested this was it's called skit mark which i find kind of funny <laughs> this is by mark echo what i like is like it has that little well right on the nose pads um it has like little scissors because it's from the same company that does the clothing anyway um, what do you call it? So I have these glasses, but I wanted something else just in case I needed it. I mean, eh, it's it's all right, but it's not. I like the the red turtle tortoise turtle turtle shell. Yes. Anyway, so um, these frames, I'm like, oh my god, I know what this is, and uh, <clears throat> I got a really good deal on them. And they were just sitting right on that little thing where I put most of my little delicate antiques. And they were just there collecting dust. And I'm like, oh, well, why don't I do something with it? Um, I mean, for them to be just there collecting dust, so that I, I'd rather use them. So what I did is I was just searching online. Maybe I could get, I don't know, Lens Crafter seems a bit too expensive and they might not even be able to do it and i'm like oh well maybe if uh i just did a quick search and i struggled with this company it's very i always i recommend it for one reason this company um literally within one week of me sending my glasses or the 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 frame itself over there with a little copy of your prescription within a week actually within three days that it took from here uh, to uh, this company is in Colorado. It took from here to there. Within a day, they were already done with it, and they ship my frames back. And so I got it within a week. And um, the name of this company is called Replace A Lens. It's a very small company, as far as I know. It's like a family-owned thing. It's based in Colorado. And um, I sent my glasses, and they I got them back. So. Um, I want to do a little bit of an unboxing. So here they are. So um, right out of the box is like 
I sent a copy of my prescription, so it's right here. That's the, <clears throat> I guess they put it right back. And then they put, uh, 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 uh. all right. They sent me back the glasses that they took out of the frame. These were like bifocals, so it had something in there. They asked me to put my pupils, like just to put a little dot where my pupils are. So like somebody could help you or you could just do it yourself on the mirror just so they can find the focus on the lens so they have it nice for you. What is this? Uh, da -da -da, questions, let us know. They're in Denver, Colorado, replace a lens. So you know it's right here. I'll put the link in the description anyway. I know it's always easier to click. And here are my glasses. Um, I didn't have a case because th these glasses are actually from the 1800s, so <laughs> they were quite old, but they are a beauty. All right, so I'm trying to do this with one hand to get me a tripod. Anyway, so there's a baggie, there's the bubble wrap, and here they are. This are a piece of beauty. You can see the wire frame this is uh this actually hooks right up to your the one thing you can make sure about these glasses is that they're not going to slide anywhere and if you can see right here the whole frame actually not just this part it's silver the whole thing is silver you definitely cannot find anything like this anywhere they don't make things like this anymore and this <clears throat> As you can tell, look, the name is right here, replace lens. These are round, but that's what I like about them because this kind of glasses you cannot find anywhere. So, right here, now they're even better because they have my prescription. If you can tell, like, there's a lot of detail put into these glasses. The nose pads right here they're all like mother of pearl this is not plastic there is no plastic here um there is let me see if i can focus this such detail on everything embossed silver everything is just so nice about these ones beautiful beautiful glasses can't find something like that anywhere it's just nice everything about them the history behind these kind of glasses I don't know it's just iconic see this is pearl I paid to have them clean um, I think it's an extra five dollars charge for them to have it to put it on the ultrasonic cleaning thing just put them inside and then just clean the whole thing but so worth it and it's not even that much money for five bucks there we go. These are single vision lenses, as I said. My prescription is not that high. And for something like that with a polycarbide on it, if you want plastic, it's about $30. If you want something more substantial, it can go up, of course, especially if you want something like transitions. But um, these ones are actually, it cost me, I, I want to say, uh, maybe... 79 maybe less than that it's like single vision lenses i believe it might be 50 don't quote me on it it might change um but i i asked to put uh the scratch resistant thing the um, so it doesn't have that much uh glare so it's actually pretty pretty good it's a really good deal and for that amount of price and the fast uh, shipping that they did they did this work so well and so fast I'm really amazed that's why I'm actually doing a video because it really needs to be it, it's a small company but look at that it's such a nice frame all silver everything so nice this is what I'm gonna use when I go to the city I'm by the city I'm right here in New York City and I want to feel pretentious. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but these are just nice. It's a nice pair of glasses. Let me show you how it looks on me. 
They're very small, but that's how they used to do them in the 1800s. Uh, yeah, they're not the most comfortable pair, especially because the wire can dig into your ears. But, I mean, I love them. They're so nice. I mean, I believe in using things. I mean, in the end of the day, like this thing is actually, you know, at the end of the day, it is an item. It is a thing. But... You know, for me to have this or to keep it right there collecting dust, I'd rather just have them there and use them. That's the point. That's what you. That's what they were made for. So I know they're nice. They're definitely not this, which these are nice. They're just not that. <laughs> this, uh, by the way, you don't find these ones anymore anyway. They don't make them anymore. But these are just something. All right, let me show you how they look on me. Here are the glasses. They're round. They're different. They're definitely some kind of a statement piece. And see, they really, they hook up to your ears. But that's the point. They're not going anywhere. They're definitely not going anywhere. This with the... Uh, black outfit not necessarily this one would be something like a color shirt and some nice boots this is nice very nice makes me feel like Harry Potter <laughs> just nice you can dig in here where it wraps or hoops around your ear but they're just nice pair of glasses barely noticeable actually since they're so thin but the fact that they're silver it just shines it's just oh it's just a nice thing look at that where would you find something like that it's not in the 1800s anymore but you can definitely bring them back <laughs> all right so this me fire child hope this video was of a lot of help and if you're looking to uh, if you have an old pair of frames and you want to have them renewed for a cheap price and if the price has stopped you then I suggest you go and try replace a lens very good company I recommend it I had a good experience with them so peace out this evening fire child bye